welcome to my channel and if you've been here before welcome back um, so this is my little platform where I turn struggling math students into maths masters okay I post videos Tuesdays and Thursdays so be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell, um, bell to make sure that you get notified when I actually post new videos okay so in this video I want to be teaching you some really nice tips and tricks on how to approach tariffs okay and specifically water tariffs um yeah so that's what we're going to look at in this video and hopefully i can make this a little bit easier for you to understand okay so let's do this <laughs> mentioned we are looking at tariffs um, and in this video I'm going to focus on water tariffs because this is a section on tariffs that usually is awarded the most marks if they ask this question and also it's the most complex so if you get it if you understand how water tariffs work then I'm pretty sure that all the other types of tariffs would be easy for you to understand okay so before we start, let's just make sure we understand what a tariff actually is, all right? So a tariff is a billing system used by a service provider which determines how customers and clients are charged for goods or services. How, what, what is the system that they use to actually charge their clients? So for example, if you look at a, 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 a cell phone provider or a, um, a network provider, you know, MTN will charge you X amount per minute that you talk on the phone, or they will charge you so much for WhatsApp and for WhatsApp bundle. Um, if you go to underground parking, you'll see that on the front there, there would literally be the tariff system that they use for parking there. So usually it's like for the first half an hour, it's free. And then if you were there for an hour, you pay X amount. If you're there for two hours, you pay X amount. So that entire system of how they plan to bill you or to charge you, that's just called the tariff system. So don't be overwhelmed by the concept. Okay, so that's what tariff means. And in this video, we're going to focus specifically on water tariffs and how you are actually charged for water. So a few things that you need to understand for this. One, when you, you obviously are paying the municipality for water, right? And water is generally charged per kiloliter okay so to give you sort of an understanding a kiloliter is a thousand liters so for every thousand liters that your household uses you are going to be charged okay so <clears throat> we're going to look at this example and then I'm going to show you how you actually do the calculations for this so the example says the tariff used for water is given in the table Use the table to calculate how much a household would pay for using 5 kiloliters, 8.3 kiloliters, and 13 kiloliters. So we're looking at this as if this household used this total for the month. Okay, so if we look at this, um, in the left-hand side of the table, you will see that this is the amount of kiloliters, and on the right is how much is charged per kiloliter. Now, the, the thing that I want you to understand here, Great Wilds, is that the more you use in this case the more you'll be charged for what you use okay so let's say somebody choose somebody uses six kiloliters then that means that they're going to for those six kiloliters they're going to be charged four and 65 for each kiloliter so to calculate that total you would then say the 4.65 multiplied by the six right but let's say this person used seven kiloliters. The first six will always be charged at the same amount, right? So you're still going to say six multiplied by 4.65, but now the seventh kiloliter will fall in this range, which means only one kiloliter will then be charged at 17 and 75. So if you choose to use <coughs> more, then that means even though the first six will then be charged as per usual, as per normal for everybody, no matter how much you use. And then as you go, the more you use for those kiloliters will be charged at a higher um, expense. So let's actually do the calculations so that you know what I mean. So the first person used 
five kiloliters. So if I look at my table here, you see five will obviously fall into this uh, range. So if they use five kiloliters and it's four and sixty-five per kiloliter, then the calculation is simple. Then this per this household for the month will then have to pay twenty-three rand twenty-five cents. That's fairly simple. Okay. Now let's look at a family that uses eight point three kiloliters. Now, what I want you to know and to note, as I mentioned before, the first six is still the same price, right? So the six, which is this range, times the, the price for each is 27.90. So this is the price for the first six kiloliters that they use. After the six kiloliters, you'll see that there's still 2.3 kiloliters that we need to be charged for. This now falls in the second interval range, right? So then we'll go 2.3 multiplied by, now the tariff for, for if you use more than 6, is then 2.3 <clears throat> times 17.75. Note, usually this will say more than 6 kiloliters, because I know people will ask, oh, but man, but if it's 6 kiloliters, there's a 6 there and there's a 6 there. Um, in this case, uh, or in your exams, I will always say more than. So then you know that 6 will then fall in this interval, and then more than 6 will fall in this interval. Okay. So then, <clears throat> to find out the total amount, it would then be the first 6 plus the 2.3, and then together, that will be what this household will be charged, which is 68 rand and 73 cents. Okay. Now let's have a look at 13 kiloliters because now we're actually moving beyond just our first two intervals. So watch this. Again, the first six charged per, usual, per normal equals 2790. See, that's the same as the first six um, for the household that used 8.3. Then we have the next 4.5, which is being charged at 17.5. How did I get that 4.5? You just take this. Minus that, and it tells you how many kiloliters actually is in this range, which is 4.5, and that's how much is being charged. So the first 6 is charged at this price, is this total, and then the next 4.5 is this total over here. Now, if we have a look, we notice that we have only now calculated or been charged for 10.5. Because remember, look at this values here. The first 6 and then the next 4.5, that gives me 10 and a half, which means that I still need to be charged the rest to make up the 13, which is the 2.5, okay? So this total here on the left must always add up to the actual amount of kiloliters that the household has used. And the 2.5 falls now in this range, and this is the price for it. Therefore, that will be how much they will be charged for that 2.5. So, in total, this family is going to be charged the following. For the first 6, 27.90. For the next 4.5 they used, it's 79.875. Remember, always use all the decimals. You only round off your final answer. And then at the end, you, the last 2.5 was then a little bit more expensive, and it cost them 64.925. So, in total, this household that used 13 kiloliters, will then be charged at 172 rand and 70 cents. Okay, so the secret here is understanding that the earlier um, water, the, uh, <coughs> the smaller amount that is used, obviously the less you pay, but the, st the smaller range will always be how much you are going to be charged regardless of what the big total is. So the first six will always be 2790, whether this family used 100 kiloliters or whether this family used only 6. That first 6 will always be the same price. Okay, so I hope this sort of clarifies that a little bit for you. Now let's look at how can they ask this in an exam type situation. Okay, so let's read carefully here. So this question says, water was billed at a level 2 tariff in November 2022 for a household in Cape Town. If this home used 19 kiloliters, determine how much more they paid for level 2 than if they were billed at level 1. All prices include VAT. 
So if we have a look here, they say that this household was charged by level 2 um, tariffs. Okay, so level 1 tariff is basically uh, sort of the cheaper tariff and then level 2 is the more expensive tariff. But now what they want to know is how much more is this family going to be charged if they get charged level 2 versus if they were going to be charged with level 1. So you see the same concept, but now the type of question that's being asked here, right, means that you actually have to calculate 19 kiloliters for both level 1 and level 2. And to find out how much more, you would then calculate the difference between those two answers. Okay, so let's do that. Let's start off with level one. So this person, between zero and six, if it was level one, the first six would then be 375. That would then be the total. Then the next 4.5 is then charged at 13.75. And then, so this is already 10.5. Remember, we, we use, this household used 19 kilo, kiloliters. So we have to continue up until we get to 19. Then the next one is, whatever the difference is here. So the, what is the range of kiloliters here? It's 8.5, right? So 20 minus the 10.5 will give you the 8.5, right? So in this range, the 8.5 which was used, will be charged at 24.96, right? And then how much do we have then in total, right? We then have, sorry, we then have 6 plus the 4.5 gives us the 10.5, right? Plus the 8.5, this total then gives us the 19, okay? And so the first 6 was charged at that amount, the next 4.5 was charged at this amount, and the next 8.5 was then charged at this value. Which means the total, so do you notice that more than 20, this tariff is not going to be relevant to our question, because we're only working with 19 kiloliters. So then our total then would be the first 6, the next 4.5, and then the next 8.5. Okay, which will give you 296.535. Then, we do the exact same, but we're now going to be using the level 2 tariffs. So again, the 6, but now it's charged, it's a bit more expensive. Then the next 4.5 will be charged at 32 and 45. Then the next one, um, 8.5, will be charged at 84 rand. And then the total will then be the 53, which is the first 6. The next 4.5 and the next 8.5, which gives us a total of 19, will then be will then cost 913.605. Note, I didn't round off any of these answers yet because it's not my final answer. Excuse me. So to get to the final answer, which is what they're asking, what is the difference between the two? I just take that answer and I subtract that one. So this person, this household, would then have to be paying 617 rand and 7 cents more uh, being charged at level 2 tariffs versus at level 1 tariffs. Okay, what I want to suggest to you is go back to the video and pause it where just the question and the table is shown. And then you try without um, looking at the answers that I've given. And you try and see if you get to the same answers that I get. Because watching this is very easy because I'm busy doing it. But when you actually do it yourself, that's when you actually learn. So now that you've seen this explanation, I want you to pause the video. Then go back to where this video, where I show just the example without the answer. And you try and see if you can work out through the steps that I've shown you now to actually get to the correct answer. Okay. So yeah, thank you so much. And yeah, good luck. I hope this, this video really helped you understand tariffs a bit better. So did that video help you at all? I hope it did. Um, yeah, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, you know what to do. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.